three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Alright, welcome to Roots of Reality. I'm your host, Ben Bauman, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of artificial intelligence. So as human beings, we've always been fascinated with questions regarding things like consciousness and how we became such intelligent creatures, which have gone on to take over the world. Thus, we also often wonder, could something smarter than us exist? Some may think about perhaps the possibility of aliens in distant worlds who are much more advanced than us, while others wonder about the possibility of creating some sort of artificial intelligence, which could perhaps eventually develop consciousness and potentially even become more intelligent than us. Historically, even some have feared being replaced by robots. However, to start off, though, we should first be clear about what artificial intelligence actually is. And basically, it means any technology which can perform tasks done by humans. Now, artificial intelligence as a concept may seem modern and futuristic, but it actually has been around on humans' minds for thousands of years. For example, going back 2,700 years ago to ancient Greece, there was an ancient Greek myth about a man made of bronze known as Talos who was engineered by the Greek god of invention named Hesiod to protect the island of Crete. Now, much later in human history, people would start to actually build robot-like creations. For instance, the Middle Eastern engineer Ishmael al-Jaziri would build water-powered automated robots that could perform music like a band for people in 1200. And fast-forwarding hundreds of years, the British inventor Charles Babbage would come up with the idea of the first digital computer in the 1830s. And over time, as the idea of robotics became more and more ingrained into human society, people began to imagine a world where robots were actually alive. In fact, in 1863, there was an English writer named Samuel Butler who expressed the possibility of robots eventually replacing the human species. In turn, from here, technology would continue to develop with the Spanish engineer Leonardo Torres Covedo, creating the first chess game, which had some limited ability to play chess against people in 1912. Then in 1941 in Germany, the first programmable computer known as Z3 was completed. Next, in 1950, the British scientist Alan Turing would come up with the idea of the Turing test, which states that if a machine can communicate with a person without the person realizing it is a machine, then the machine can think. And this concept will become very influential to the field of artificial intelligence. And to this day, of course, no computer has ever passed this test. But needless to say, this has been one of the things that people think about when it comes to artificial intelligence. Finally, though, in 1956 at Dartmouth College is when the field of artificial intelligence actually was officially created. And since then, many types of robots with limited artificial intelligence have come to exist in society. For example, the Unimate was created at the American company General Motors to help with the assembly line process. Additionally, in the 1970s, you have anthropomorphic robots being created in Japan, which which can walk, pick up objects, measure distances, and communicate with people. And from here, technological advances would only continue to increase with an IMB computer known as Deep Blue defeating the world chess champion in 1997. And in 2000, the Japanese company Honda built the robot Asimo, which could respond to voice commands, give human gestures, navigate and walk by itself, climb stairs, recognize voices and faces and more. And in 2011, the computer IBM Watson would defeat the quiz show champions in Jeopardy. And finally, in 2015, scientists in Singapore would build a robot called Nadine, which featured realistic human-like skin. It could smile, look you in the eye, shake hands with you, have mood swings, 
and even recognized people and remember what people had said in the past. On top of this, in 2016, the robot Sophia was created in Hong Kong, which could make jokes, sing, make art, mimic facial expressions, and was given citizenship by Saudi Arabia. And from here, new robots continue to pop up as more and more people start to build them and and build more sophisticated ones. So when thinking about artificial intelligence and robotics, you know, we really can't predict the future. We don't really know where this is going per se. However, if we are able to develop conscious artificial intelligent beings, it is not unreasonable to think that such creations could represent the next stage of life on Earth and perhaps a post-human world. Or perhaps over time we will begin to fuse technology more and more with our own biology and become almost like cyborgs. We really don't know. The future is always difficult to predict, and many predictions are often wrong. But the possibilities when it comes to the future of artificial intelligence and human beings are basically infinite. So who knows if 50 years from now, what may be walking amongst us, or perhaps who knows what a thousand years from now, what the society of our descendants will be like. So with that, as always, remember, Billions of years led to you, so make the most of it.